All right, when multiple agencies are sent to aid a storm-ridden area in a time of crisis, communication is key to coordinating those relief efforts. The state of Alabama has made efforts to connect all first responding departments, but it has been an uphill battle to get there. Our Parker King went to Lamar County to figure out what the holdup is. He joins us in the studio with some answers. Well, Andrea, in October of last year, Governor Kay Ivey announced she was accepting the FirstNet and AT&T program to do away with landline radios and unify first responder communication. While it's a great idea, the rural counties are having trouble getting on that frequency. When storms hit the coastline, the relief efforts can be at a standstill without the proper communication. You figure out okay, how do I communicate with those people if I need something or how do they get a hold of me if they need something? Lamar County EMA Director Luke Otts has experienced that dilemma firsthand. Last year, Governor Kay Ivey accepted the first net and AT&T program, which could provide that communication. But there are just a few setbacks. Anywhere it's money, it's always going to be money. Money and, and, and time to get everything together in one spot. The county also has to get everyone on board with the program. That means cities and counties, sheriff's departments, and EMA. You got to get all the agencies to agree. Otts has applied for six different Homeland Security grants, but says if the county gets the money, the next step isn't FirstNet. There will be a few more steps in between. We're just still focused on uh, land mobile radio systems and stuff like that right now. And then after you do all that, then you can move towards the AT&T or Critical Link or whoever. Otz also says several departments are still under contract with other communication companies. One can only hope in the next few years first responders will be able to find and interact better and keep our communities safer.